So, I'm laying down and making a video. And, yeah. Um. So, I haven't made a video since, like, February. And. I said that I was going to cover Mumble Tech and talk about that. Uh, and if you haven't figured it out yet, that was a lie. Um, it wasn't an intentional lie, but it was a lie. Because it didn't happen. Uh, mostly because I feel really weird about recording people and taking pictures of them, which is a shame because I really like pictures of events, so I just rely on other people to fulfill that duty for me, and I hope that someone else will take pictures for me. Anyway, I'm making this video because of this blanket that I'm here with. So you can't even see it because I can't hold up a blanket but <laughs> this is a My Little Pony blanket that my mom gave me for my birthday and I guess it's kind of stupid but it's not stupid it means a lot that my mom gave me this blanket because <clears throat> Um, having My Little Pony, uh, things isn't really what makes someone a woman, but, I don't know, it means a lot that my mom bought this for me and gave it to me for my birthday, um, because she has had a lot of trouble accepting what's happening in my life and what I'm doing with it and uh, with who I am because for the past 24 years she thought I was someone else and yeah this video was a lot better in my head and of course I automatically condemned myself to YouTube hell because I decided to record this on the YouTube like record from webcam thing which is the number one uh, key to YouTube disaster except for people that can just get on camera and be amazing uh which I'm not one of those people uh especially when I'm exhausted and just making videos about blankets that I'm laying down with but yeah I guess I just thought I'd upload something uh Things have been going surprisingly well for me. Um, I'm actually fully public with my identity uh, and my name change. I, in the past month, have come out to uh, my extended family and the people I go to school with and all of my clients. Um, at school and I haven't had any trouble um, I had well I had a little bit of trouble with my boss um, and it was that whole situation of uh, well he's very religious and has had trouble accepting me and what I'm doing but it's it's just been complicated because he says that he wants to respect me but then I I don't really know where he's coming from um, 
I guess I don't really understand trying to respect someone because in my head and in my world you just respect people you don't you don't try to respect them um so it it was a little bit complicated but uh I mean it's gotten worked out um mostly he a lot of the problem was going back and forth about the wording of an email to go out to all of our clients and uh, that whole thing was messy but in the end uh, thanks to uh, the advocates I have at my university that I'm extremely lucky to have it has worked out and you know yeah but I, I guess I've just been surprised that um, so far I really haven't had any negative reactions uh, and I don't know if yeah I don't know most people at my school just don't care and that's honestly the reaction I want um, that's you know whatever it's my life and they shouldn't care and they for the most part they don't uh, at least not that they've expressed to me. Uh, so that's been nice. But this video is getting a little long, and it's not really about anything. But just figured I'd make an update. Um, I guess I've got a little bit more. Uh, I am having laser surgery uh, on May 17th uh, to get rid of all my facial hair. Uh, which is pretty exciting because for me that, that's really the big thing out of everything that's the big thing because I just at least in terms of dysphoria I look in the mirror and that's all I see even after I've shaved like a thousand times in a row and put on makeup I still see it um, and it's like all I can see um, but, you know, I'll be starting my first of six treatments on May 17th. Um, there was, like, a special deal where I could get six treatments for $300, which, I mean, that's a fair amount of money, but, uh, I had already saved up for it. I was expecting it to be more like 600 um, or more, and I got it for 300 and, uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm working on uh, really the only other physical step of my transition, which is uh, getting hormone replacement therapy. Uh, I, I still haven't necessarily taken the steps to start that, but um, I at least kind of know what my plan is for it. I, again, it's another situation where I'm very fortunate to be where I am at the university that I'm at uh, because I can get um, medical support there. Uh, and now I, I need to figure out if my health, health insurance covers it or not. I don't really expect them to. Um, and if they, d they won't, I probably won't be able to afford it, honestly, at this point. Uh, but if they will, then that's great, and I'll be able to get started, and I really would like to. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, I, I gave a presentation today uh, in front of, you know, an entire group of students who, until today, uh, huh, didn't know my name was Rachel, and again... They pretty much didn't care. I mean, I say pretty much, and there was literally no reaction. <laughs> um, which, again, I don't know. We'll see how it works out in the long term. And, uh, you know, if I run into any trouble at school, but so far, uh, it's been nothing. And I came out on Facebook. Uh, a lot of people start secondary accounts. Uh, but I don't know I, I wanted to be really public with my transition just to um, 
you know, because I have that privilege. Uh, you know, I'm in a situation where I can do that and without a whole lot of danger to myself, and so I guess I feel obligated to do that uh, because I can be visible, and it's safe for me to be visible in the situation where I am. Uh, and so the more, you know, visibility that uh, trans women can have, I think the better. Um, so that's what I did. And uh, I got a lot of uh, feedback on there, but it was all positive. And again, I don't know if it's just that I've been careful throughout my life to only associate with more reasonable people, or I, again, I don't, I don't really know, I guess I expected at least something negative, um, I mean, there's been a few that were not necessarily, like, the best, you know, just a little, there was a little bit of ignorance, but of course I expect that, um, so yeah, but a lot of, I mean, it's the most popular post I've ever made on Facebook. I've never gotten that many likes before. Uh, about 25% of the people that are friends with me liked that post, and several people commented on it to show their support. I got several messages from people. Um, people even that I haven't heard from in a while were showing me support, and, you know, on one hand, it's like, well, do you really care about me? Like, why are you really sending me the support um and you know i can see some issue with that it's just people saying like oh well this is a big deal so i'll show my support but and i mean i <clears throat> again i can nitpick and i can find problems but really i mean they're being positive and they're trying to show support uh which ultimately i just appreciate um Maybe not every trans person out there would, necessarily, but uh, for me, it it's just nice to, to have people, even that I haven't heard from in a while, you know, people from my past just say, like, hey, you know, I saw you change your name, and I see what you're doing, and I just want you to know that I support you, you know? I don't know, it kind of, like, validates my... Uh, identity, like, back even through to those years where, uh, you know, I didn't accept it, um, but, like, a lot of these people were people I was in theater with, and, you know, that was my only outlet during high school, like, that, I think, really saved me, and they, you know, just having them show that support after all these years, it's kind of like, I can, in my memory, like, they supported me then too somehow I I don't know I it's uh I don't know it's been really nice it's been really positive um, I'm, I guess I'm still waiting for like the disaster part of it to happen because that's what I prepared for um, and I don't know I'm I'm so fortunate like I'm so fortunate you know after all all that I've seen from other people's stories, I know, um, and I know that it has a lot to do also with, uh, the privileges that I have in my life that I'm able to, you know, go to the university I go to, have the education that I have, uh, and, uh, be surrounded by people that, uh, people that think about things before they open their mouth, um, and, you know, have the capability of putting themselves a little bit in my position and understanding how to be respectful. Um, I don't think that most trans people have that luxury. Um, and I, again, I, I just want to say that I am lucky to have that, um, and I hope that I can use my position, uh, to, 
make it easier for people that don't have the luxuries that I have. Uh, that's what I hope that my life can be. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I just wanted to post an update. Um, I would say a quick update, but obviously this isn't quick. This is like a 15 minute video. But uh, I guess you can just pretend that uh, you know, just spread out these 15 minutes for the past, like, three months, and then it's not a long video. I don't know, I'm just making excuses. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed, and I'll try to make sh some shorter videos in the future. Bye!